Question number seven, Bill Twyford. Mr Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Building and Housing. How much does MB estimate has been saved on building materials for a standard home by the government's suspensions of tariffs and anti-dumping duties on building products and since its commencement in July 2014, by how many dollars has the price of the average Auckland home increased? The Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Uh, the Ministry stands by its estimate that the removal of tariffs and duties on building materials will save $3,500 on an average new home construction. The full benefits of this will take time to flow through because it takes time to set up new supply lines, it takes time to change New Zealand standards and it takes time for them to become familiar with alternatives in the design of houses. It is simplistic and flawed to link the cost of building materials for new homes to the QV valuations for all homes, as 98 per cent of them are actually built before the change was made. It is no more correct to blame the 20 per cent increase in Auckland house prices that have occurred since July 2014 than on the 29 per cent increase that occurred in house prices when Labor was in government. Okay. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Can he confirm that MB has advised the savings from his scheme may be as low as $582 per house, that in general they have made, and I quote, no discernible impact on prices, unquote, while the average Auckland house price has gone up over $150,000 in the same period, according to QV? Uh, the Honourable Dr. Uh, Mr. Speaker, no, I don't accept the member's claims. I would note that house prices doubled during the previous government and they did not take a single step. The house build rate collapsed during Labor's period to just 200 houses in a month. Uh, we've got over 1,100 homes built in the last month that's been reported. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Is he surprised that the consumer has seen none of the estimated savings of $2,500 on plasterboard despite falls in import prices? And if so, why is he surprised given that his own officials warned him that in an overheated market like Auckland, builders and developers would simply pocket those savings? Uh, the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Uh, Mr Speaker, I note that since the government made the changes that the import of plasterboard uh, from Thailand uh, has more than doubled. I'd secondly note that if we look at the consumer price index around building materials, they grew by an average 5% per year under the previous government. They've grown by an average of 2% per year under this government, showing that we've been far more successful in keeping building materials costs under control as compared with the previous administration. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Why did he say I don't have information that builders are being induced to, to buy a particular product, unquote, when the Commerce Commission found that the Fletcher's subsidiary Winstone Wallboards has agreements with all the major merchants that include kickback payments and one agreement that outright prevents the largest retailers stocking alternative brands. Uh, the Honourable Dr. Uh, Mr. Mr Speaker, the Commerce Commission uh, took an, a comprehensive investigation uh, into those allegations, it came to the conclusion that there was no breach of the law. The members' comments are about as much hot air as similar claims that were made by the opposition on supermarkets that also came to naught. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Why has he been talking a big game on the high cost of building supplies for the last three years, while his main policy has resulted in zero savings for consumers, and meanwhile, he's been ignoring the bigger issue, which is anti-competitive rorts in the building supplies market. Mr. Uh, the Honourable Dr. Mr. Mr. Speaker, we should judge by results. Under the previous Labor government, building materials increased by 5% per year. Since we have been the government, building materials have increased by half that rate. That's what counts. Well, the member says that the policy is not working. Actually, we are building a faster rate of house build, double since I became Minister, and a faster rate that has been going for more than 10 years. Question number eight, 